Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bree. Today I want to show you guys how I plan to store my K cups. All these K cups that you guys see in front of you were found on clearance at various stores from Food Line to Walmart. Each box was different prices. The most expensive was this dark chocolate hazelnut, which is about $6.99 on clearance. These flavors are all seasonal and expire in one to two years. If you are planning to store your K-Cups, do not forget to write down or tear off your expiration date and keep it close by. In all, I have about 150 K-Cups to store, so let's get into it. First up, you guys, I want to show you my 5-tier 90 K-Cup drawer by Nifty. This I just ordered, so we're going to be unboxing it in this video. I ordered this from Amazon for about $36. This is my first time seeing it with you guys right here, right now in this video. This is just my handprint on the top, but it comes fully assembled already. You guys, I think I'm in love. This is absolutely cute. I love how narrow it is. The drawers slide out really nice and smooth. Kind of loud, but nonetheless, they're sliding very smoothly. I thought originally it would have an enclosed bottom, but it doesn't. Seems like it will hold the K-Cups very well though. All right, this is my old storage container that I was using. It's Mind Reader brand. And you can find this on Amazon as well. Although I did purchase this from Big Lots, I believe that I paid about $15.99 for it. No more than $19.99. And I already have this filled with a few K-Cups. There's several I've already um, used but nonetheless it's still pretty full hence the reason why I went and bought the five door k-cup holder plus I kept finding good deals and I needed massive storage for all these k-cups so I'm gonna go ahead and refill my smaller k-cup storage so stay tuned all right so now this is filled. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that right back up and let's go for our other one. Here we go. Let's get rid of those. So, have one box empty. Yes. Quite sure, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, hey, they do. Guys, I am back, and these are the pots that would not fit like. <laughs> I have so many pots, you guys. All right, you guys, so now for the big reveal of what the holders look like. Here we go. Completely redone. And it's getting a little stuck because what I did, you guys, I put, I put the expiration dates for some of them in here so I can keep an eye on the dates. So this is it filled up. Um, I did put my kids' hot chocolate in there, and I ran out of them, so I just put a couple random flavors at the back, so that's that. And I forgot how many this one holds. I want to say it holds 30. My 90, this is, this is my new one, the one that holds 90. Yeah, I got to the top. I touched it and gave it a big can for it and had to clean it off. So here we go, it's drawer number one. And I did put the expiration date back there too. I'm gonna try to find a little neater way to do that. Originally I was wanting to lay it underneath the cups, but it will fall through. Okay, real quick, I wanna show you guys where I usually put them at. My 30 count goes directly up underneath my microwave with the boxes on top of the other ones that wouldn't fit. 
So this is my other one, the 90 one, the newest one I just bought. I'm going to sit this right beside my Keurig and my toaster oven. And as you can tell, like the drawers sliding out is the worst I can say about it. It's kind of loud, but nonetheless, fully storage. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified whenever I make new videos. And leave me some comments if you'd like to see something like this again.